I had invited my father to come down. I was director of White House personnel. And at that time, they were still putting your name on the door if you were head of an office. And so it had Anita C. Bavakwa, that was my maiden name, director of personnel. And he looks up at that and sees my name. And he started to cry and I started to cry. Um, and it was such a proud moment for both of us. And I just will never forget it. Well, the first day of walking into the White House uh, to work there, was really exciting and, and overwhelming in a lot of ways. In November of 1984, about a week after the re-election of Reagan Bush, I walk into the White House to one of the lowliest of positions uh, as a correspondence analyst. So I was there to read the mail for the President of the United States. I thought everybody was like me, people that worked on campaigns and came and worked at the White House. And the reality, what I learned is, of course, it's not that way. There's an institution of the presidency and people that uh, have been there for years and are the continuity of operations and the continuity of government. No matter what president comes and goes, this is the presidency that they serve. And by extension, that's what I, as a young political appointee, learned in that position and the operational units are many. It makes it possible for the political offices and the policy folks you know, to do their work, which means I had opportunities to move up in those operational units. The re-election in 2004, I got a call from Laura Bush's office about a week after the re-election saying she wanted to talk to me about being the First Lady's Chief of Staff. That's a big jump, going from reading, you know, mail, kind of a couple of years out of college, to being the chief of staff to the first lady of the United States, but three administrations later. So there's a fair number of years and years of experience. Working for Laura Bush was an incredible experience on so many levels. One, we saw the world together. We went to 67 countries in four years. She went to 77 total, and she went to all 50 states. So seeing the country, seeing the world. The other ex you know, experience that really hits me is when I was you know, working in the East Wing. You really are surrounded by the significance of history every day. In some ways, it's the most special and perfect place to work because it's the combination working for the president and, and all of the things that they are trying to accomplish and being part of that team, but also working in the most beautiful part of the complex, you know, in the residence, in the symbolic, a reminder to everyone, not only Americans, but to people around the world, of this global stage that the White House is. You know, I look back on those uh, three administrations, two and a half decades of uh, opportunity to work in the White House and, and seeing all areas of the complex and really getting a, a feel for everything that goes on there and really understanding um, how it is for everyone that succeeds you, of what they face on a day-to-day -day basis. It's hard work, but it's really a joyful experience uh, to know that you've been a part of history and that you can make some small contribution, you hope, and you really do feel the presence of history and you're really overwhelmed by your tiny little part of being in it yourself.